What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And you know, you ever see something trending on Twitter and you're like confused as to why the hell this thing is trending? All right. I saw Aladdin was trending on Twitter and I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Why is this trending? So, of course, you click on it. You start scrolling through, not Mina Masood trying to pipe up and speak on The Little Mermaid. Just check Mr. Billion Dollars Movies IMDb post Aladdin and it's giving unemployed dead. Like, okay. Aladdin tried it. Let's show up and show out for The Little Mermaid like we did for Black Panther. Tired of these folks trying Hallie like she isn't that girl. Stunning and extremely talented. Bye, devil. Declaring her movie sales will be over 1.7 billion. You watch God work. Like, whoa, what's happening here? I understand Mina Masood is very angry that Aladdin didn't get a sequel, so am I. Disney failed him knowing how hard it is for Middle Eastern actors to get work, but to shade The Little Mermaid, a black actress-led movie, knowing how hard it is for us is equally fucked up. And then it's like, okay, you see this pop crave uh, mentioned here. Aladdin star Mina Masood deactivated his Twitter account after receiving backlash for his tweet about The Little Mermaid. And the first thing you're like, ah, oh, shoot, this dude said something about The Little Mermaid. Oh, you know you can't come at black women like that, man. This guy must have went hard in the paint. He must have said something absolutely ridiculous, okay? Been listening to my videos or something like that, right? Talking about race swapping and black washing and how that's just absolutely trash and disrespectful and insulting to the black community. I bet he said something like super, super hardcore like that. So let's go ahead and see what he said. Our film was unique in that audiences went to watch it multiple times. It's the only way we reach the billion dollar mark with our opening. My guess is The Little Mermaid doesn't cross the billion dollar mark, but will undoubtedly get a sequel. That what what else? What else? Did I miss something? Did I did I miss something? Is that all he said? That's why these people are angry? That's it? All he said was that he doesn't think the movie will get a billion dollars, but it will get a sequel. And people are mad at that? Emotional damage. So apparently with the black community, there's only one acceptable opinion, right? Oh, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Oh, it's going to be the best thing in the entire world, okay? It's going to be the movie of the year. You got to go out and check it, okay? You can't have any kind of nuanced opinion where you're saying, well, you know, maybe it, it might not do a billion, but it might get a sequel, you know, or something like that. You can't say that. That apparently is insulting and it's diminishing Halle Bailey and the entire work of this movie or whatever to say that this movie won't hit a billion dollars, but it will get a sequel. It's like Grace Randolph and her idiotic opinion, right? Like if you have anything negative to say about this movie, oh, that says something about you. You need to go find out and figure out who you are and what you're all about, all right? You guys remember that? I'll link that video above if you didn't see that. But yeah, I guess all of these people, these idiots go to the same school of stupidity, all right? Grace Randolph and all of these cats on Twitter. And I guess this cat right here couldn't take the heat because, you know, the director's covering it. Aladdin star leaves Twitter after sharing controversial Little Mermaid posts. Yeah, if that counts as controversy in this day and age, I mean, we are all doomed. But let's go ahead and read. Ahead of The Little Mermaid's theatrical release, Aladdin lead star Mena Masood's latest controversial tweet led to fan backlash. The Little Mermaid recently received strong reactions from critics, which serves as a promising sign for its box office predictions. At this stage, Disney's upcoming remake is projected to make between 110 million to 130 million during its opening weekend. When responding to a fan about The Little Mermaid's box office potential, Aladdin actor Mina Masood said that the Halle Bailey-led movie will not cross the billion mark, but it will undoubtedly receive the green light for a sequel. And again, of course, that's the tweet. That's it. That's all it takes to make black people mad is that, oh, you just got to say that something ain't going to, you know, be the greatest thing in the whole wide world. But I mean, it's kind of crazy when you sit back and think about it. Honestly... A sequel is probably more of a statement about how a studio might feel about a film's future or a film's success than just cracking a billion dollars. When you sit back and think about it, because they're saying, yeah, we're willing to spend another $200 million on this movie. That's how much faith and confidence we have in it. That's not necessarily going to happen with every billion dollar movie, okay? Aladdin, nor Beauty and the Beast, nor The Lion King, like those all crossed a billion out of these silly Disney remakes that nobody really actually likes. Um, they all cracked a billion. Not one sequel has been greenlit yet. Or if maybe they are, they're on some kind of back burner and they're in development hell and all that kind of stuff. So you could actually argue that this guy is giving the movie respect. 
He's saying, yeah, I think people will go to it to see it enough. Maybe not quite hit a billion. Maybe hits 900 million or whatever. I don't know. Okay. And then, oh, it'll get a sequel and more people will go and watch it. Disney will be willing to invest another $200 million into this thing. You could actually make that argument if you weren't a brain dead moron. Masood's tweet sparked controversy online as the Little Mermaid supporters reacted to his post and they were clearly not happy. So this person looks like Iris Sirens didn't hold back in reacting to the Aladdin actor's tweet. Your film reached a billion, but you're still jobless. Seems like you got other things to worry about. Elliot Bull perfectly summarized Masood's current situation. Mina Masood chose violence with that comment about the Little Mermaid's box office, and now the Little Mermaid stands are coming after him. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. But I mean, like this idea that he chose violence, okay? These people are just mouthing off. They don't have a clue what they're talking about, all right? This guy merely just said, hey, I don't think it's going to hit a billion, okay? Like, that's like the wildest, most outrageous opinion that a person can have. You know how many films don't hit a billion dollars? There's only been like 50 in history, okay? And not every Disney remake has hit a billion, okay? Only a few of them have. So I don't see why saying that The Little Mermaid isn't going to hit a billion dollars is some kind of a giant insult. It's all about Halle Bailey. That's all it is. People don't want anybody to say anything negative about this film just because of her. Complex Cut is all out in its support of The Little Mermaid while also addressing Masood. Mina Masood, you're pea green with envy because your CGI monster snoo fest of a very bastardized Aladdin made a billion dollars got forgotten and you were never cast in anything meaningful again. Halle Bailey is a true star and The Little Mermaid is about to eclipse everything. Like, Jesus Christ. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> And in his latest tweet, Pop Cray pointed out that Masood already deactivated his Twitter account following the controversy. Yeah, I wouldn't have deactivated nothing. I would have just left my shit up, okay? Wide open. Come with it. Bring it. I don't care. All right? Like, this is the problem when it comes to the, these actors in Hollywood. They care what other people think. I don't care, all right? You can say whatever you got to say about me. I ain't going to please everybody anyway, all right? So I'm just going to speak my mind, say what I got to say. If you... If you crave the acceptance of others, it really messes you up because then you can't be yourself. You know what I mean? You can't be yourself. You start like kind of tippy toeing around your own opinions. OK, it's like, oh, I don't want to say that because somebody might get too mad at me. You know, I don't want people to get mad at me. Nah, man, stand on your position. Say what you got to say and be as authentic as possible. And if people don't like it, that's what you do. That's it. OK. This guy canceling his Twitter account, man, that's that's BS, man. I'm sorry, bro. You you, you should do better, okay? You really got to do better. Let's go back to Twitter, though, and let's see what else these clowns are talking about. This person, I fully forgot the live-action Aladdin even happened, man. The only reason why this movie was anything is because of Will Smith. The cast was dog shit. The songs, especially the new ones, were garbage. The jokes were meh. Like, you can never be the OG Aladdin. You cannot be Disney peak. I mean... That's not has nothing to do with him. He was just an actor. OK, all of this stuff that you don't like or whatever you're talking about, it's just Disney. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And I, I agree with everything this person said. And you'd be honest with you. You know, there was nothing good about this remake. He was acting like his career didn't immediately flop right after Aladdin. And he just does Christmas Hallmark movies. But what does that have to do with his opinion? <laughs> Mina Masood, star of Love Action Aladdin, started taking racially motivated shots at the Little Mermaid movie. What happened to POC Unity? This forgettable Egyptian Canadian actor is now exposing how fake it is. What's the racially motivated shot in this thing? You see, this is why you can't talk to these people. These people are stone cold idiots. There is nothing that he even says anywhere in here about race. But if you talk about the Little Mermaid movie, if you say anything about the Little Mermaid movie, what did we see yesterday? Let me see if I can find that tweet. Remember, they tried to downplay this, right? They tried to downplay this. This person put it there. If I say the Little Mermaid looks bad, people will call me racist. Okay? So it doesn't matter. If you say this thing isn't good by any stretch of the imagination, they will call you a racist. This guy, Afro Elite, is an idiot. Okay? Nowhere in this tweet. Nowhere in this tweet. You can't even drag racism out of this, no matter how hard you try. There is nothing in here that's a racially motivated shot. The Aladdin actor for no reason. <laughs> Get this mermaid out of here. <laughs> but that ain't even what he did. He said the thing would get a sequel. Like, what is wrong with people, man? Golly, God, I, we can't think, man. We just can't think. We don't have the ability to think. And that's what's wrong with the community. 
First off, who the hell is Mita Masood? We all know Will Smith was the main reason we all went to see Aladdin, and I'll stand ten toes down for The Little Mermaid. This is exactly why we need to pack every theater up on May 26th. Bring your kids, nieces, nephews, grandkids, the entire family. Look, what did I say to you guys, right? What did I say to you guys? I told you guys on the previous video, okay, that black people were acting super weird about this movie. And I told you that they are going to bring the entire family. They are going to show up 10 toes down, like they said, all right, five, six, seven times so they can quote unquote, stick it to the racists and the haters and the bigots and blah, 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 blah. These cats going to end up spending their grocery money and rent money to go see this crap. <laughs> I said that this is exactly what they were going to do. And look, I don't have any prior knowledge other than just knowing my people. OK, I knew that they were going to come out and say this stuff. All right. The reality is, man, this is the sad part, man, is that these clowns, they don't embrace their own culture. OK, they don't embrace their own culture. They just happy with the table scraps that they get and they're begging for race swaps. OK, that's basically what it's coming down to now. And it's kind of getting me upset. All right. Like, you think about it. Why didn't they go this hard in the paint for Creed 3? You know, why didn't they make Creed 3 a billion dollar movie? As a matter of fact, I don't even think all three Creeds combined have made a billion dollars. All right. And that's a black director, black actors all over the place. Oh, no, 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 no. But the Little Mermaid, the race swap, you know, blackwash Little Mermaid. Why are you trying to do this with this blackwash trash? I don't understand this. OK, yeah, I know people like Halle Bailey or whatever. All right. I mean, th but that's the problem. And then all of y'all coming after this dude, y'all all fake. Okay, you won't do this for your own culture, but you'll support woke Disney because they threw you guys a blackwashed bone. There you go, black people, take that. All right, we ain't gonna actually make nothing about black culture, okay? But we'll absolutely go hard, super hard for this uh, race swap stuff. Oh yeah, go ahead. We'll throw the little mermaid in. We'll turn to black. Look, again. And I'm going to say this again. Watch what you like, okay? You will not get any judgment from me for watching what you like. If you want to watch this film, go watch it. Enjoy it. Life is short. But I just want you to remember, y'all going hard after this fake-ass race-swapped crap. This hand-me-down from Disney. Y'all going hard after that. But you ain't going hard after black culture when it's out there. I have talked again and again about the countless amounts of black mermaid stories, African mermaid stories. I have talked about these again and again and again, talking about black culture, African culture. I have discussed this time and time again. So it's not like, oh, I'm not, I'm against mermaid black chat. Hey man, go out there and do it. We just don't want your sloppy seconds. If you want to do something, do something that's authentic. Take a black artist, take a black author and remake that and then put that into like a Little Mermaid universe or whatever. You could give, oh yeah, we got Ariel over here and then we got whatever this is over here, you know? There are, there are plenty, absolutely plenty of opportunities to take authentic black culture and adapt it for the big screen. But they're never going to do it. Why? Because y'all out here clapping like baby seals for this race swapped character. And honestly, it's showing me what's the reality when it comes to black people and this stuff. They don't care about black culture. All they want to do is stand on the top of pop culture. OK, that's really what it is. They just want us to be on top of pop culture. They don't really care about, you know, actual true African stories. OK, they don't care about that or their own stories from the black community in America. They don't even care about that. All they care about is the race swaps. OK, can we stand on top of pop culture, whatever's popular right now? Can we be on top of that? Can we be above that? All right. And then, yeah, oh yeah, woo -hoo, yeah, look how we're doing. It's like you're not interested in like telling like authentic African stories, okay? Y'all not interested in this, okay? You just want to be the headliners of the show. You're all divas and narcissists. And that to me is why the black community is constantly taking L's to everyone out there. Because even the community doesn't give a damn about authenticity. So why would anybody else? They don't want originality. They're happy with the crumbs from the table. So, yeah, so these kind of clowns, right? These clowns, you can't reason with them, all right? You can't explain this to them. Their brains don't work that well, okay? Their brains don't work like that. So all you can do is just make fun of them, okay? They're sitting up here eating up the sloppy seconds of Disney's hand-me-downs and lapping them up like house pets, okay? That's the best that they can do, begging for crumbs from the table instead of actually doing some real support, all right? I would love to understand why y'all didn't make Creed's. It's three Creed films. Yeah, check it out. Three Creed movies, right? Three of them. They haven't even hit 700 million total.
but they're about to turn this race swap trash into a billion dollars or die trying, all right? That's how sad this crap is. Anyway, folks, what do y'all think about this situation? They let homeboy have it, and to me, he didn't even really say nothing that bad, okay? All he was trying to say is, hey, you know, give a little nuance to his opinion or whatever, but you can't have opinions out here, okay? If you have the wrong opinion, they'll cut you down every time, but you guys go ahead, jump down in the comments, give me your thoughts and your opinions on that. I won't cut you down if you give me your opinion, and thanks for watching. See you next time.